Okay, part D. So it says, hence find the values of x where the graph of f is both negative and decreasing. So these are from, this is from part B and this is from part C. So he, he got us to, to write f of x in these two forms. Now what this question is clearly trying to do is get, to, or is testing your knowledge of quadratics and their, how they relate, how the functions relate to the graph and how the various forms of the functions relate to the forms of the graph. So ideally, what I mean, what he's basically trying to get you to do without saying it is sketch the graph. And guys, whenever you can sketch a graph, just sketch it because it gets you. It, it will definitely help you understand what's going on. So we have um, a, it's a parabola. It is a quadratic with zero with zeros or roots at x equals zero and x equals two so it's going to come down here there and there something like that no, that's not bad okay so this is two and this is zero and in in this form this hk form or vertex form we have the coordinates of the vertex too. The, the coordinates of the vertex are one, negative four. One, negative four. Because remember, it's a x minus h squared plus k, and the vertex is h k. So if this is minus one, then h is one. If this is minus four, then k is minus four. So just be careful because this one changes sign. Now, so the question is, where is this graph both negative and increasing? So it's negative when it's underneath this line. And it's increasing when it's going, well, anywhere from here, I don't know, to infinity, it's increasing. Here it's decreasing. Decreasing because it's coming down. Increasing, it's going up. Simple. So where is it both negative and increasing? Well, simply from here to here, that part. So the graph would definitely give you your your working guys. If you if you didn't draw the graph, you could just say minimum at one negative four, and um, therefore increasing after negative or after one, and um, negative between zero and two, therefore, and just write down the answer. But this I think is actually a nicer way to show you're working. So the answer is. Um, x is negative and increasing when it is bigger than one and it doesn't include one guys because at one it's stationary it's neither increasing nor decreasing so it's bigger than one and less than two again it's not equal to two because at two it's it's equal to zero it's not it's not negative it's actually zero so that's the answer there okay that's parts or part d question seven